Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Virtual Rambling, the funk edition. <laughs> Today I am playing something truly incredible, it seems. This is Wanderlust. I don't think this one's going to be so much of a walk as a funky dance. <laughs> So it looks like uh, Glastonbury's finally moved to Stonehenge and uh, and then some. Oh, there's an elephant. was interesting. I found an elephant. Now we're on some sort of urban funk planet, I guess. This is a bit more calm. I see the uh, traffic lights are working perfectly. Not that it matters, there's no cars. walls. Ah. <laughs> Connor, Connor, help me. <laughs> what about this way? Am I allowed to go down here? Is that permissible? Oh, yes, it is. soundtrack. I uh, recently got into a habit of playing um, synthwave music, just whacking on any old random synthwave channel on YouTube while I, uh, while I work. This is the kind of stuff I listen while I while away my hours doing admin stuff <laughs> ah. okay you got me intrigued I'm going down here with the shadows. <laughs> I'm afraid I didn't look into it before I started this video, so I don't actually know who developed this. Um, 
I will add it into the video description. But clearly, this is a developer who knows how to have fun with what they make. I guess uh, I ought to go up these stairs here. Please don't tell me that's an invisible wall. <gasps> yep. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Cheeky. It's weird how the city streets are made to feel more like a maze just due to the the abundance of uh, invisible walls in this game. See, I feel like I'm being drawn to this thing over here. And it's clearly got stairs going up to the top. I do believe that I'm supposed to go up those stairs. You know, this is the most striking feature of this landscape. You know, apart from that big ass beam of light over there. Maybe I should head that way. I seem to have a bit of uh, joystick drift going on today as well. Nintendo! What have you done to my Xbox controller? Nintendo! Stay away! Or fix it for free, you know. Whichever. Nope. Invisible wall. Okay. I'm supposed to go up here, aren't I? see if I just needed to apply a little bit of a jump to get up here. Maybe I did. Yeah. This step does look a little bit higher than the rest. Yeah, it's clearly just <laughs> just a bit of a tr transition error. Start squeaking again. You've had your WD forty. What more do you want? I might just stop here and appreciate the landscape for a minute. Okay, we're back. Let's see what we can do. I see the stepper is feeling a lot more 
smooth and loose now that I've given it a bit more love. I just hope I don't get WD-40 all over the carpet. Hmm. <laughs> Same mistakes, ladies and gentlemen. I've not programmed a jump button. I keep having to lean down to my keyboard. Ah. You just hate people who don't learn from their mistakes. Ooh, alley -oop. Ooh. You remember what I was saying in Connor Sherlock's games video? Uh, started talking about how uh, walking simulators weren't walking simulators if there was no perceivable perception of movement if you're in a big white space and you walk forward how do you know you're actually moving you want to continue that thought you don't you need an environment you need an environment as a point of reference to tell you when you're moving or not otherwise a walking simulator isn't really simulating anything, is it? And that's what Connor and Wanderlust developers and so many others are great at. He's given us environments within which to do our wonderful walks. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. And the music really helps too. <laughs> Blue mist and red trees. I like this. It's, you know, it's a visual and an auditory journey. I'm loving the music. See, I see the next statue up ahead. And I literally don't want to go there. I want to walk around a bit. I want to appreciate this one a little bit more, I think. Oh. It transitioned for me, I believe. Dandelion seeds flying up to the sky <laughs> as if they're becoming stars. This guy loves his uh, like god ray effects as well. I say guy, guy, girl. Anything in between. Look at this. This tower. It looks like some sort of 
surreal glass vase. about the colours in this game. If uh, whoever made this game is listening, oh, you have got to put this out in VR. It is gorgeous. I would love to get my head in this game. There's two horses. Even more. I wonder what the uh, what the animals mean, if anything. Do they have anything to do with the world that they're in? Oh, look at that. So it's like, I don't know, frozen. I don't know, it looks like frozen liquid almost. It's kind of Gaudi esque. Give uh, them trip to phobia people a nightmare though. It looks like a lotus flower or something, you know, the, the whole fear of holes things. Slightly more trippy, a bit less, a bit more uninviting this one. <laughs> a lot of uh, again invisible walls stopping me from moving around this place too freely sad to say goodbye to this one. It's not quite as pretty as the other ones. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if uh, that door didn't actually lead me anywhere? Oh, I like this. A bit of soft jazz. Yeah. Fairy forest. I can't go this way. <laughs> All that way. I think I would like this game more if it didn't have so many invisible walls. You know, I was uh, saying in my last video just how much of a bugbear it is for me in games where you're supposed to be exploring. I mean, I this is great. I love this. And I think because it its music is so fantastic and its visuals so... Uh, just so gorgeous. 
uh, yeah, definitely letting it off the hook. But I really hate invisible walls. Um, completely unnecessary. I've kind of just been being driven in certain directions. Like that line there. You'd think you wouldn't be able to go through that because it looks like a bit of a natural barrier. But eh, I can walk straight through it. <laughs> Um, it's almost as if, I don't know, I feel a bit like <laughs> like the dev is toying with the player a little. You know, levels kind of uh, sometimes ending a little unexpectedly. Invisible walls just like everywhere. You're really, really, really being driven towards one particular point, and that particular point is always an animal statue, or in the city it was like a giant flower, wasn't it? Oh, that's cute. They like a fox or something. He loves his satin skybox. He, she. <laughs> this is the horror level where you get chased mercilessly. I can't help but notice the like sides of the screen are getting dark. I really hope I'm not supposed to jump up this thing. I slightly get the impression that I am supposed to. But let's move on and see how far we get. Looks like the uh, WD-40s worked for my stepper. Hooray! No squeaks! broadcast was brought to you by WD-40. We spare no expense. Oh man. Whew. day in England. Ooh. I'm assuming I can go through here. Yep. <laughs> See, you wouldn't think you'd be allowed through that. Like, nah, it's gonna like freeze me solid or something. Nope, this is a walking simulator. No death. No destruction. No enemies. Apart from the one laughing in my ear. Just a nice jaunt in some absolutely gorgeous, surreal locales. Now let's go hug a giant cactus. This is a linear path. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> and 
and uh, and that's it, ladies and gentlemen. So, Wanderlust was by Eternity Studios. And here's a big ass list of all the awesome music. Make sure you listen to the official soundtrack DLC. <laughs> Special thanks with lots of love, Anna. Ah. I wonder if that Anna is who I think it is. Well, this has been one funky joint. Oh dear, I said joint. Ah, uh, ah, uh, rewind, rewind. Well, this has been one funky jaunt. I hope you've enjoyed your surreal wander through Wanderlust. Until next time, travelers. Goodbye.